Good morning, everybody. Good morning and a very warm welcome to the Minster Church of St Andrew for this wonderful occasion. Before the ceremony begins, I will make some housekeeping announcements. The Vice-Chancellor would love to shake your hand as you walk across the stage, as your award is read out. But if you do not want to shake her hand, that's not a problem. Just hold your hands down on, by your side as you approach the centre of the stage. But please also make sure that you pause and stand and face the photographer when you reach Claire, our Vice-Chancellor. We are not expecting a fire alarm today. However, should an alarm sound, you will be directed to the nearest fire exit by the event team. If there is an emergency, we would ask that you congregate at the front of the church on the grassed area. If for any reason you need first aid today, please locate a member of the team who will contact a first aider. Toilets are located just outside the south door and baby changing facilities are available inside the disabled toilet. At the end of the ceremony, once the graduates and academics have left, please stay seated until you are directed to leave by an usher. You are then invited to collect a drink outside and celebrate with your friends and family. There will be filming and photography taking place today, so if you do not wish to be included, please make yourself known to the photographer who will be clearly identifiable. For the first time, we are live streaming the ceremonies via our Marjon Facebook page. On the inside of your program, you will find a QR code that will take you straight to the feed. So please do share that with your loved ones so they can watch from afar. A recording of the ceremonies will be available online from early November on the university's graduation web pages. We would really like you to share your photos and your news of your graduation. So by all means, please tweet at MarjonUni using the hashtag MarjonGrad. It only remains for me to remind you to make sure your mobile phones are turned off for the duration of the ceremony. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful day.
we begin our graduation with the Marjon prayer. Let's pray. Almighty God, who inspired your evangelist Mark to write the gospel and sent John the Baptist to prepare the way for your son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, bless all who work and study in this University of St Mark and St John. Grant that we may be a community of sound learning, new discovery and the pursuit of wisdom where each is valued as made in the image and likeness of God, where discrimination and injustice are challenged, and where all are encouraged to discover their full potential. Guide us in this to become the people that you intend us to be, so that we may play our part in establishing your kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Graduating students, distinguished guests, friends, colleagues. A very warm welcome indeed to St. Andrew's Church this morning for the highlight of our year, our graduation ceremonies. This is the fourth of five ceremonies that we are holding in this beautiful venue, and it's fantastic to see the church full on this very special occasion. My warmest and heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you graduating today. And do not underestimate what an incredible moment this is. Today marks the conclusion of a period of sustained study and hard work. I'd be very surprised if at some point during your learning journey, you haven't experienced a moment of doubt, perhaps a knock to your confidence, and maybe some real practical challenges. But you've made it. You've completed what has been required of you. You have achieved the expected academic standards. And now is the moment to celebrate your success. So today marks the end of one journey and I hope the start of a new adventure. Many of you have embarked on new careers. Others of you may be taking some time to consider opportunities available to you. Some of you are continuing your studies with us at Plymouth Marjon University or elsewhere. Whatever your chosen path, I'd like to take just a few minutes to pause and invite you to reflect on three things before we launch into our celebrations this morning. And they are people, place, and prospects. So first of all, people. Well, here at Plymouth Marjon University, we pride ourselves on being a supportive and inclusive community. Humanity is one of our core values, the recognition that people matter. And I hope you've seen that in action during your time with us. As a Marjon student, I know you will have connected with some amazing people whilst here at university. Treasure those relationships and stay in touch. Remember also that as a Marjon graduate, you are tied into us for life and you can continue to access, access, to access advice and support even as you move into a new phase. However, I know too, that there will be those around you who have played an especially significant part in your success. Your academic tutors, support professionals, and of course, friends and family. So I'd like to invite all who are graduating today to stand and to express your appreciation with the loudest applause ever for the people here who in many different ways have helped you to get to this point. Graduands, please stand and show your appreciation. Applause. 
Fantastic. Thank you. So people matter, but we are people who are part of a particular place. Plymouth Marjon University, your university, and your university is a place founded upon an exceptional heritage of social justice activism, a force for good in tackling the inequalities that are so stubbornly rooted and embedded within the fabric of our society. Marjon is a place where potential is discovered and dreams can be fulfilled, and you are living proof of that today. Now this year we celebrate two important anniversaries related to our university community, our place. It is 100 years since the colleges of St. Mark's, Chelsea and St. John's in Battersea merged, coming together on the Chelsea site and being renamed the College of St. Mark and St. John. And as is always the way with language, the college name quickly became changed by the students to be known as Marjons, a name which has now been proudly used for a hundred years. Fifty years later, in 1973, the college moved to Plymouth, and we are now one of three distinctive and successful universities, along with the University of Plymouth and Arts University Plymouth, providing learning, teaching, and research opportunities for the people of Plymouth, the region, and beyond. Together, we are part of a vibrant university city. And it's fantastic that we have the Lord Mayor with us today as the city representative and also the civic mace. Our city is a place rich in possibility and opportunity and a place to which I hope you will stay connected for many years to come. So people, place, and finally, prospects. You are graduating from a university committed to tackling inequality, to challenging the norm, to providing opportunity for all, and to pursuing an agenda of excellence. Our track record is incredibly strong, as evidenced by a range of national accolades, and this is good for your future prospects. Just last month, the outcomes of the Teaching Excellence Framework 2023 were published, and we were proud to receive a gold rating overall, putting your university amongst the top in the country. This is on the back of continued high performance for teaching quality, student satisfaction, social inclusion and career prospects, where we have consistently rated in the top five within the Times Sunday Times Good University Guide, the Complete University Guide and at the Watt Uni Student Choice Awards. Our success is your success. And I know you will build on what you have started with us as you look to the future. And as a university, we too are looking forwards, actively looking at how we can deliver even better prospects for current and future students, and of course for you, our alumni. We want to extend our impact and provide the opportunity for more people to benefit from what we offer at Marjon. Because a university education absolutely improves individual career prospects. It builds confidence, supports individuals to upskill, to flourish, and enables higher lifetime earnings. But also universities bring jobs, investment, and facilities to our local communities as exemplified by the sporting, cultural, and health offer at Marjon. I am tremendously excited to lead a university that is looking to the future, with plans to do even more for people and place, and committed to better prospects for all. 
So in closing, remember this. You will always be a part of Marjon, and Marjon will always be a part of you. I'm absolutely delighted for all of you graduating today. Please stay in touch. Be amazing ambassadors for your incredible university and continue to live our values. Embrace community. Stay curious. Push boundaries. Be ambitious and make a difference. But most of all, be kind to yourselves, to others and to our planet because that is what will change things for the better one step at a time. Thank you. I now declare the congregation open and I call upon Professor Gary Kinchin Dean of the School of Education to present the first cohort of students. By the authority of Senate, I have the honour to present to you the following graduates to receive degrees and awards of the University of St. Mark and St. John. Master of Arts in Education, Tiffany Ashton. <clears throat> Terenza Burnett. Rebecca Burr. <laughs> Master of Arts in Education, Humanity Award, Rachel Gump. <laughs> Master of Arts in Education, Educational Leadership, Mariana Foucher. Georgia Gilby. <laughs> Master of Arts in Education, Lauren King. <laughs> Master of Arts in Education, Natalie Parr. <laughs> Master of Arts, Expert Teaching, Leslie Thurlow. Laura Bray. <laughs> David Goodman. <laughs> Natasha Cassin. <laughs> Laura Gray. Tanya Grundy. <laughs> Lauren Guy. <laughs> Paula Blower. <laughs> Richard Jones. Catherine Kiniston. Andy Matthews. Grace Money. Claire Parry. Peter Regan. <laughs> Ray
Rachel Robinson. Victor Slynn. Sean Streeter. Faye Southall. For the degree of Master of Arts in Professional Education Practice, Rachel Edgler. Rosemary Shaw. Peter Mitchell. Master of Arts, Youth and Community Work, Leah Jo Henson. Georgina Cates. Kieran Murrant. For the degree of Master of Philosophy in Health, Iona Alexiou. For the degree of Postgraduate Certificate in Coaching and Mentoring, Timothy Dakin. <laughs> Kerry Tucker. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts Honours, Outdoor Adventure Education, Jack Chivers. <laughs> Catherine Pullum. <laughs> Laura D. Sydney L.V. Owen. <laughs> Annabelle Fletcher. <laughs> Evie Goldsmith. Matthew Handley. Samuel Yanku. Owen Johnson. Connell Keegan. <laughs> Jay Leventine. <laughs> Ambition Award for Undergraduate. Kem Ligatwood. Oscar Lindsay Turner. Jack Levick. Chloe Paul.
Dominic Pilkington. Imogen Strongman. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts Honours, Primary Education, Victoria Alexander. <laughs> Paige Bennett. <laughs> James Coates. Oscar Coram. <laughs> Hannah Donnelly. <laughs> Alice Graben. <laughs> Bethany Grant. Josie Hall. <laughs> Matilda Harvey. <laughs> Charlotte May Hendy. Maddie Kelly. <laughs> Gretel Osman Hopes. <laughs> Gemma Parnell. Louis Parsons. <laughs> Lauren Peace. <laughs> Molly Rawlings. <laughs> Naomi Rice. Paris Rogers. <laughs> Caitlin Alice Shipley. <laughs> Jasmine Lise Voisey. Holly Walker. <laughs> Kelly Whitford. <laughs> Leo Wilding. Matilda Williamson. James Tasker. I now call upon the host, Mark Leather, to present the honorary graduate. <clears throat> Good morning. I am Mark Leather and been 
on behalf of the School of Education and Plymouth Marjon University, it is my pleasure and honour to present Mr. Adrian Kemp, MBE, for the degree of Master of Arts Education, honoris causa. With this degree, the university recognises and congratulates him on his outstanding contribution to education. Adrian is one of us. He was one of the first students to graduate a few years ago now with a degree from Marjon here in Plymouth after we moved to the current campus in 1973. He always knew that he wanted to work with people as a youth worker. No doubt these days he, he would choose between Marjon's nationally recognized youth work degrees or the award-winning BA in Outdoor Adventure Education. Adrian was awarded an MBE in 2005 for services to young people, and he is an embodiment of the Marjon values of humanity, ambition, curiosity, and independence, seeing him demonstrate the highest commitment to community service, social justice, and social inclusion. Adrian is a role model and a perfect example of the sustained change that Marjon graduates can make in the world. Adrian has been a volunteer for over 25 years, devoting his time to supporting various youth projects, which have benefited thousands of young people in the Plymouth area, particularly individuals from disadvantaged backgrounds and those with disabilities. Adrian is the founder of the Stonehouse Play Space Association and also Plymouth Youth Sailing, which offers affordable sailing experiences to children all over Plymouth. As Commodore of Plymouth Youth Sailing, Adrian has been particularly successful over the years in securing funding to purchase equipment and to offer training opportunities. PYS took on the Royal Yachting Association's onboard program encouraging young people to try sailing. He has also been a committee member of the National School Sailing Association for over 20 years. Plymouth Youth Sailing has provided students with volunteering and placement opportunities in both youth and community work as well as for students on the Outdoor Adventure Education degree. For the last five years, PYS has been a supportive, collaborative partner for our formal teaching of students on the Outdoor Adventure Education Program, as well as supporting the Marjon Sailing Club, available for both students and staff. The Outdoor, Adventu uh, the outdoor Adventure Education students meet Adrian when we go dinghy sailing and powerboat driving at PYS, based at the Mountbatten Centre here in Plymouth. We are grateful for Adrian's enduring enthusiasm and experience, especially in his dealings with the Admiralty in Whitehall, London, and the King's Harbour Master, KHM, here in Plymouth, to gain permission for Marjon students to land on and explore the breakwater in Plymouth Sound, which is always a highly memorable visit. Adrian was awarded his MBE in 2005 in recognition for services to young people and his ongoing and continued services, service sees him honored by the University of St. Mark and St. John here today. Adrian Kemp. Fellow, fellow graduates, families, friends, esteemed guests and academics, it's with great pleasure and honour that I stand before you today to receive this award, um, probably the highlight of any of my connection with Marjons University. As we've, you've heard, I was one of the first students to come to the Plymouth campus, which was a very different place to the campus you have today. In 1976, they'd nearly finished building, 
and I gather you've nearly finished building again. But it's an ongoing process. Uh, from that point to now, I have always remained engaged with the college and then university through the provision of student placements, both in our youth work programmes and latterly, as Mark has so eloquently put an advert out there for uh, young people, students involved in sailing. One of the key features of education is about how we inspire the next generation of young people. Marjon's inspired me, coming from a non-university background, from a mining village in the Midlands, to doing what I do now. Marjon's was the key to that inspiration. So the graduates of today, I challenge you with taking that inspiration to the next generation of young people, giving them the abilities and skills to be sitting here in some years' time receiving honours for the work that they have done. So, Vice-Chancellor, esteemed guests, thank you very much for this invitation. I trust we will have a splendid day. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, Adrian, and it's a pleasure to welcome you to the Marjon community. Um, we look forward to continuing to work closely with you over the years ahead. It's now my absolute pleasure to invite Kirsty Thake, a Marjon second year student, to sing A Million Dreams. can say it all sounds crazy they can say they can say I've lost my mind but I don't care I don't care so call me crazy A vision of the one I see, a 
By the authority of Senate, I have the honour to present to you the following graduates to receive degrees and awards of the University of St. Mark and St. John. Anya Yaskowska. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts Honours, Education, Studies and Psychology, Ellie Bright. <laughs> Katie Kitto. <laughs> Tanya Law. Shauna Moss. <laughs> Carmen Parashiv. <laughs> Emma West. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Honours, Special Educational Needs and Disability Studies, Claire Busby. <laughs> Jordan Coombs. <laughs> Karen Craig. John Cronin. <laughs> Sasha Nettleship. <laughs> Sharon Lloyd. <laughs> Victoria Malinder. Chloe Lewis. <laughs> Kirsty Roselle. <laughs> 
for the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Honours, Youth and Community Work, Tracy Cook. Georgia Forsyth. Bryony Foster. Emma Grant. William Gray. Rebecca Hall. Rebecca Holbrook. Sophia Morgan. Lydia Seymour. Emily Southern. For the degree of Foundation Degree Arts in Learning and Teaching, Lindsay Eckersley. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Honours Youth and Community Work, Heidi Spur. <laughs> Natasha Webb. <laughs> Molly Wells. For the degree of Foundation Degree Arts, Early Years, Lenka Peria. <laughs> Amy Prouse. For the degree of Foundation Degree Arts, Learning and Teaching, Louise Beer. <laughs> Abby Heat. <laughs> Carly Hodges. Peter Litchfield. Georgia Parnell. Victoria Watts. As well as celebrating the tremendous achievements of our students today, we would like to celebrate the awards that some members of staff have achieved from the Higher Education Academy. The Fellowship with Advance HE demonstrates a personal and institutional commitment to professionalism in learning and teaching in higher education, providing individuals with recognition of their practice, 
impact and leadership of teaching and learning. I'm delighted to recognize Georgios Katsagridikis and Dr. Lynn Wyness for receiving the award of Senior Fellowship with Aunt Advance HE. I'd like to invite Georgios and Lynn to stand and perhaps we could show our congratulations. I now call upon our student speaker, Anya Yatskowska, to ad address the audience. Good morning. As many of you may well know, my name is Anya, and today I am graduating from the BA Honours youth and community work degree. Every single person graduating today has achieved something remarkable. Each of us has studied for and earned a degree, be it undergraduate or postgraduate. Some of you here may even have been the first in your family to attend university. Each of us today will have happened upon our degrees for different reasons. Many of you may have been set on your career paths for years. Some may have happened upon the degree by chance. And some of us here will be following the footsteps of someone in our life. I know that's what I've done. Each of us, over our years of studying here at Barjom, will have learnt a lot, both about our chosen subject areas and hopefully about ourselves. I can certainly say that I have. From the moment that I first set foot at Marjon as a student on the 17th of September 2020. Marjon is a place like no other and it is an amazing place to grow, thrive and learn. It really is one big community. I can remember vividly my first lecture. I walked into the classroom expecting to see a group of other 18 year olds and a stern professor this, of course, being Marjon, didn't happen. I walked in, was greeted by a group of what I deemed adult adults, and a lecturer with a bunch of flip chart paper and a football team lunchbox full of whiteboard pens for us all to use. Thus began a brilliant three-year journey at Marjon. Many of us, like myself, will have used our time at Marjon to learn about our subject areas, hone in on specialities, learn about who we are as people, and make friends that will be with us even after we leave. I can safely say that I've learned more about who I am as a person in the last three years of my life than I ever expected to learn. I've learned how to be braver, how to utilize my skills in the best way possible, and I've learned how to trust in myself and my feelings much more. First year Anya would likely be terrified of me now. I've met the most amazing people as well. Special mention to Michelle and Claire, my lecturers and amongst so many other people without whom I don't think I'd be where I am today. University has given me the opportunity to discover more about who I am and what I want to go on to do. I came to university knowing that I wanted to be a youth worker. I now know what type of youth and community worker I'd like to be. It's taught me skills that help not only my career, but also help me to live as the best version of myself. It was thanks to both my parents' inspiration that I pursued youth and community work at university from Mama. I gained the ability to take no nonsense, to just get on with it, with the realization that it's my life and no one else can do it for me. Both of them taught me to realize my skills and how to use them to help others. Tatush was the first one to show me what youth work is and what it means to people from the moment that he could. 
I was around two weeks old when I first entered the youth club, and I haven't left since. Through both his example and his willingness to answer the phone at half past ten at night, with me on the other end going, what earth does this mean? And do you have this document master copy? Will you let me steal it? There were, of course, times when I questioned why I had pursued university. This question was most often asked of myself when desperately trying to finish an assignment at half past 11 when it was due at midnight, with the promise to myself that I wouldn't let it happen again. University also taught me that sometimes the smallest and quietest moments can have the biggest impact. Growing up, I had a book that was read to me most nights, much to my father's delight. The book was called You Choose by Pippa Goodhart and Nick Sharrett. In the book, the person reading it decides the journey they will go on and who they will go with, amongst so many other options. The book opens, if you could go anywhere, where would you go? I distinctly remember being asked this question whenever I asked for the book to be read, which was every single night. And it's a question that I ask myself even now, except with a slightly different meaning. Whilst the book is made for young children, it's a message that has stuck with me. It's a question that all of us, I'm sure, before and during our degrees will have asked ourselves. It's a question today we can ask of ourselves with our new degrees and our careers coming into view on the horizon. If I could go anywhere, where would I go? Sat here in this room is the very bright future of our career areas, a selection of them being early years educators, primary and secondary school teachers, special educational needs and disability studies students, and of course, youth and community workers. Each of us has something incredibly unique to add to any place that we go. We can walk out of here today knowing that we have strived to be the best that we can and that we've learnt a lot along the way and each of us has something amazing to bring to the table. Marjon is absolutely a family, a very large family, but a family nonetheless. We support and uplift each other, annoy each other, and cry and laugh with each other. If there's one thing that Marjon has taught me, is that there will always be someone there for you, no matter the situation. I want to finish with a quote, this time from a book I was gifted in my first year by Michelle and Claire, the university chaplains. It's an amazing book called The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and The Horse. The quote reads, I'm so small, said the mole. Yes, said the boy, but you make a huge difference. If there's one thing I want everybody into this room to remember, is don't forget the words you say, the actions you take, and the difference that every single one of you makes. Thank you very much. Wow, thanks so much, Anya, for sharing that. That was fantastic. Um, I'm inspired now. I want to <laughs> go off and do amazing things. Thank you so much. So as we conclude our proceedings, um, I'd like to thank all who have enabled this incredible event to happen. Um, days like this don't just happen by mistake. Key colleagues have worked hard behind the scenes for many, many weeks to ensure everything runs smoothly, and many others are supporting the logistics at each of our ceremonies this week. Too many people have been involved for me to name individuals, but you know who you are, and we are immensely grateful for all you have done. This has been a fantastic occasion. Thank you so much.
To graduating students, my heartfelt congratulations once again. And remember, you are now part of the Marjon story that is all about people, place, and prospects. Our success as a university is your success. And as I said earlier, I know you will build on what you have started with us as you look to the future. Stay in touch and please, please let us know what you are up to. As I said earlier, be amazing ambassadors for Plymouth Marjon University and continue to live those values which we have spoken about today. Embrace community, stay curious, push boundaries, be ambitious and make a difference just like the mole that Anya was talking about. And most of all, practice kindness. This ceremony marks the official conferment of awards for graduates present today. I also confer awards on all those in absentia. And I declare the congregation closed. Thank you. <laughs>